Hi folks, this is Danny at Bradley James Classics showing you great dedication, bringing you a walk around video. Believe it or not, it's actually raining. Um, however, the show must go on. We're showing you today um, a remarkably low mileage, uh, beautiful version of the Ford Sierra. This one is a H registration, um, registered in 1991. Now, the car itself is a facelifted version of the Mark II Sierra, and we'll talk a little bit about the specification in a minute. But with 27,952 miles on it, it's a unique opportunity to own a very popular modern classic, which is in relatively good condition. Obviously, it hasn't had a great deal of use compared to other Sierras that may still exist from this era. In fact, it's been treated very nicely a total of three previous owners, but really it's been owned by just two people over a long period of time. Uh, the car itself, I would describe it as in absolutely excellent condition. Um, it's got a set of um, nice um, telephone dial pepper potty uh, gear wheels on. It's a 1.8 LX engine. It's a nice bright white color with handsome bumpers with red inserts, a very nice luxurious trim, nicer than the trim from the earlier cars, softer, and we're going to talk a little bit about the model in a moment, but um, for now, do you know, I think it might not be a bad idea to see inside the car. It's me a chance not to get uh, soaked to death. We've got a little chat about the ownership of a modern classic like this Sierra. Now, I'm afraid um, you're seeing it not in its best light with, with the rain outside. However, uh, we can always do an updated video, but I was keen to get this one online because I get inquiries on a regular basis about cars like this, so I know that they're in demand. So as we've got one in, let's get it out there and give someone an opportunity to come and see it and get it in time for the new classic car season. This will be a welcome addition to any classic car show. Now the car itself, uh, I mentioned it being a 1.8 uh, LX model, um, so let's talk about the engine. The 1.8 engine is a uh, CVH engine, um, which you could also get a 1.8 Pinto engine in the earlier Sierra, so this has got the later engine, they called it a lean burn engine, for those who can remember all those years ago. Uh, a 5 speed manual gearbox. Um, the CC of these are about 1769 from memory. I'm sure someone will correct me if I'm wrong. Um, the car itself, with just the 27,000 miles on, with uh, fully documented service history. In fact, there's a lovely folder that someone's taken the care photograph of the car and a lovely little Sierra badge on the front. And then as we flick through here, we'll actually see the full Sierra manual, the service book, and some information and look at well look at this some lovely photographs for those who always ask for a bit more i'm lucky enough to be able to say to you well look here yeah, that's the boot area for those who can see this video and it is super clean because it's always an area um, which is a concern with these cars that's it with its spare wheel doesn't look to have ever been used um, and some great photographs of the car actually in here um, now i know we're sat in it and we're live but it's Oh, and the engine bay is in remarkable order. It's clearly been looked after really well. Look at that battery tray, because people always ask about full battery trays, and that one looks like a new one. It really has been a credit to its previous owner. It's been looked after really nicely. Here's the top of the suspension, McPherson struts in the front. There's another engine bay photograph. And, uh, and there we are, a two day clean and detail session. So, lots of information, and we've got plenty of information about any work and invoices are all in here. And we have an MOT which runs through to uh, January 2022. But we'll talk a bit about the Sierra, because the Sierra is a well-loved British institution. Now, it had to take over from the uh, Cortina, which went through many um, guises, from the Mark I right through to the Mark V or Mark IV facelift is technically, I think you're supposed to call them. And so the Sierra had a very hard act to follow because certainly across Europe and, um, and then onto a, uh, with a Mondeo, uh, to a global platform, the car was loved. And 
it was um, announced at the NEC Motor Show in 1982 and they worked out the name Sierra. There was a time there was a test car being shown in that famous sort of jelly mold design which was called the Probe. But the actual Sierra did turn out to be something quite like the concept. And of course this was a completely new idea moving away from the uh, previous Sierras. Now of course coming out as a hatchback that's something a Cortina never was unless you uh, want to try and count the estate version but this was an all new car you know completely cutting edge modern and for those who can remember even having this dashboard which angled towards the driver very much a BMW design at the time as I remember um, that was pretty cutting edge um, this is lovely that this one still has its original um, radio cassette of that era, which works nicely. Electric windows in the front. Um, that's kind of a, not really a four spoke, but a, a better steering wheel, more like the model you would see higher up the range, like the GLS, for example. Um, in fact, the LX really was an excellent package because you've got a factory sunroof and that's like new, literally, as is the headlining. It's in beautiful condition. Uh, things like electric windows, we have central locking. This one has got the uh, optional extra of the gear style alloy wheels and the wheels are totally refurbished and they look like brand new. Um, the car has been put for our workshop, starts on the button. It's had a recent battery. Um, it really is a, a, a credit to the owner because it is immaculately clean under the bonnet. It's a sort of car that you could take to a car show, lift up the bonnet and then talk about the old days of when these cars, uh, you know, could have ruled the road. They did um, generally do better than the uh, biggest rival, which was the Cavalier, but the Cavalier was a front wheel drive car. This was a rear wheel drive car. So the Mondeo had to come along and the Sierra had to get modernized because in fact, the early Sierras pretty much picked up on the concept of the last of the Mark V Cortinas with rear wheel drive, Pinto engines, etc., etc. So um, finally the, um, the saloon car came along in, I believe that was about 90, or could have been 89, 88, uh, could have been 87. And that was, of course, the Sapphire version, which came with the boot. This one's a hatchback. And then, of course, there's a legendary cars uh, like the Sierra Cosworth, which really are, well, phenomenally expensive and highly collectible. Uh, there's early Sierra examples uh, uh, fetching £100,000 and over. You know, RS500 comes to mind. So this car really does have a good heritage because it was one of the UK's best-selling cars and across Europe, assembled in Britain as, as well as well, Germ Germany and Belgium. And pretty much anywhere you go, you'd always see a Ford Sierra on the drive. Um, so I can't really tell you a great deal more about this car other than the fact that it's got this phenomenally low mileage. It is in excellent condition all over. It's rock solid underneath. There's no welding. There's no welding that needs to be done. You'll be hard pushed to find too many warning lights and ECUs to ruin your day. The only warning light on there is a handbrake and I'll just take that off and put it back on again. Um, the car is a delight to drive. The engine having covered only 27,000 miles, as you could imagine, it's very tight and crisp. It drives beautifully well, and it looks as if we might be doing a bit of a promotion this month. And for those who buy the car, they can even have a Nolan's. Um, I'm in the mood for dancing, which I think was their uh, big hit. And that uh, cassette looks like it's gonna be coming with the car. Now, um, please ask any questions you need. Uh, importantly, uh, we can only do so much over the, uh, the internet and telephone. This car needs to be seen. Uh, and driven and appreciated. We offer a full um, part exchange service, so we'll gladly look at trading in your existing car, even modern cars as well, and occasionally the odd motorbike and camper van uh, is accepted as well. Um, we offer a full UK delivery service. We're very prompt and economical. We can have this car delivered to anywhere you'd like in the UK. Um, we have our own workshop here, so all the cars that we sell go for our own workshop, and they are uh, subjected to a thorough uh, PDI um, so we're confident that when the car comes to you everything's working like it should uh, I think this I mentioned this one's got an MOT through to next year bearing in mind I'm doing this uh, video in early 2021 the uh, MOT is through to uh, January 2022 um, I can't really think of a great deal more to tell you about this lovely Sierra hatchback 1.8 LX 
um, other than the fact that she is in stock now. Um, she's going to make you happy because when you see this car, you're going to realise just how well someone has looked after it over all of these years. I'm going to give you a little treat because I'm going to lift up the bonnet. I'm going to have one little final walk around outside. And in fact, I might show you a little bit more of the interior as well because it really is in exceptionally good order. All those plastics are in excellent order, very bright, no scratches. The rear seats, well, they virtually look like they haven't even been used. You know, there's that good a condition. A lovely lurry material, more like a gear trim by this stage of the Sierra. Um, now, I'm going to need the key to open the boot, I'm afraid. I think we can manage that. something I need both hands for. Okay, well, I'll tell you what folks, we'll, uh, it looks like there's a different key for the boot. Of course, it's not a key that I happen to have here. I've just got the one key in my hand. But having uh, let you down with the boot, hopefully I can redeem myself by showing you the engine bay. Uh, now, I promised you that was in nice condition and you're not gonna be disappointed. Um, it really is, I mean, look, how much space you get there. Look at that. You can actually see the ground down there. You don't see that often in a, in a modern car. Um, yeah, she's super clean. A real credit to the previous owner to keep a car in this condition. Um, a very simple engine, the sort of thing you can work on yourself, in fact. Um, you can see this one's got a new set of leads. I know it's had a new set of plugs because we did actually uh, give the car a little tune-up um, to make sure the choke was working exactly how it should. So she fires up on the button. We did fit a set of um, spark plugs and a new set of leads. And let me finish off with a little wander round. It's got its original dealer number plates on that's a KT group of Dartford full dealership and indeed it has its uh, original main dealer Dartford supplied car I think I mentioned to you those uh, uh, gear alloys well, let's go close up on this one and you can see that literally looks like a brand new wheel and it's even the centers have all been painted as well um, there's a little stone chip that's been touched up here. Um, and there's a stone chip here, but I think you, would, uh, you wouldn't you would deny it one or two little stone chips, but I can assure you there are little dents, scrapes, stone, rust to contend with. It's all super solid underneath, and the car presents really well. It's great in the car park here. Well, she's in stock, so please don't hesitate to get in touch. We'd love to show you this. Sierra from 1991 and if you're looking for a low mileage modern classic which I think is bound to appreciate in value over time if you keep it in this condition Lord knows where the prizes will end up but I think this one represents a real good buy at this price point for those wishing to own and drive a modern classic Ford well that's Danny at Bradley James Classics signing out thank you for watching the video today folks